Another big story, 11 days after general elections in Pakistan, there is still no agreement on who will form a government in the country. Plans around the formula sharing of power remained un inconclusive, but that's only one part of Pakistan's post-election problems. Allegations of rigging and malpractice in these polls grow larger by the day. Here's a report. Pakistan is still waiting for its Prime Minister. Eleven days after the general elections, the confusion persists over its next government. The two largest parties, the Pakistan Muslim League Nawaz and the People's Party of Pakistan are on the same page to form a coalition. But there is no agreement on the power sharing. The PPP chairman Bilawal Bhutto Zardari has already rejected the Prime Minister's post. <laughs> PMLN chief Nawaz Sharif has named his younger brother Shehbaz Sharif as the coalition's candidate for prime minister. Bilawal Bhutto says his party will support Sharif's government but will not take cabinet positions. The other troubling thing for the people of Pakistan are layers of allegations of election rigging. On Monday, the Supreme Court was scheduled to hear a petition seeking to declare the national elections null and void. However, the top court postponed the hearing as the petitioner had chosen to remain absent. Strongly criticizing the petitioner, the court asked him to appear on the next date of hearing, that is the 21st of February. On the other hand, supporters of the Pakistan Tehrike in Saf have called for a judicial probe into the vote tampering allegations. Supporters of former Prime Minister Imran Khan are out on the streets calling for a re election. The people are here because they, they've had enough of it, because they gave mandate to PTI. But that has been, uh, you know, they, they have been denied their right and their votes, uh, it seems, as if. They've gone to waste, so they're, they're, they're not going to accept it. For the next Prime Minister of Pakistan, there are huge challenges ahead. The South Asian country is grappling with an economic crisis and slow growth and record inflation. And let's not forget the terrorist violence that has been rising in recent days. Bureau Report, Beyond World is One. Now to discuss this further, we have been joined by foreign affairs expert Adnan Kaiser from Islamabad. Mr. Kaiser, thank you so much for joining us here on Beyond. Thank you very much for having me and good evening to all your viewers. All right, sir. There are ongoing negotiations between the PPP and PMLN for a coalition government, but Bilawal Bhutto Zardari says he does not want the prime minister's seat and his party doesn't want any cabinet posts. I want to ask you, Mr. Kaiser, what is at play here? So first of all, uh, the jigsaw puzzle is still not in place. Uh, so there are too much speculations going on uh, amid uh, extreme political chaos in the country. Nobody knows uh, what the other party is planning to do. Um, so we know uh, we pro uh, earlier we thought that probably there would be a marriage of convenience between the Pakistan People's Party and PMLN Nawaz, and uh, they will form the government because they had been. Uh, partners in the PDM government as well. But there had been a trust deficit and we have seen just now that Bilawal Bhutto has spilled the beans uh, that, you know, he was offered a prime ministership for the last, for, for the later part of the two years, which is not acceptable to him. So please understand that, first of all, People Party and PMLN have divergent politics. Uh, People Party is a left-wing party and Nawaz League uh, is, is a right-of-center party. So they do not converge on political agenda as well. So there had been a marriage of convenience, uh, friendly opposition and charter of democracy in the past. Uh, so there is, uh, they are biding their time. So there is no convergence. At the same time, uh, PDI is very keen uh, to 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 take over the government uh, in the center because they are their, their primary focus is to take the uh, to get their 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 leader out of the jail um, uh, on on various charges. 
So right. that is why they have, they have formed the Sunni Itahad uh, uh, Council today, and uh, probably they are too keen uh, to uh, to form the government. But uh, the PMLN on the and the PPP on the other hand, they are very shrewd uh, politicians, and they would want a PTI to form a government and to get uh, to take ugly, uh, hard uh, economic decisions and get discredited among the masses. Mr. Kesar, even if a PMLN a PPP coalition comes to existence, or as you call it, a marriage of convenience, how optimistic are you that it will actually sustain for five long years? That's 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 absolutely that's the that's the biggest question because that's a million dollar question because the elections in Pakistan have been thoroughly discredited. You know, there had been an, um, a strong international rebuke. I had been following international media, and there has been a strong condemnation uh, of the military uh, for um, their role in the alleged uh, rigging of, of the uh, election manipulation. Uh, so uh, we have seen recently, yesterday, um, one of the commissioners, uh, he came to the media and he, he uh, you know, make, made a, a bombshell uh, allegations uh, right. against the, the fraudulent election. So this election, I don't think is going to be uh, to be given legitimacy or accept or receive acceptance uh, worldwide as well as by the people of Pakistan. So uh, there are so many ifs. Uh, what is going to take place uh, in the next future. Very quickly, Mr. Kesar, you say that the people of Pakistan will not see this election as legitimate, then what's next? What next is again, you know, that is why the problem is that Pakistan has structural problems. Uh, we have a constitution that is not representative of the people. Uh, the, unfortunately, because of the land reforms could not take place. Uh, we are still having a feudal and tribal society, uh, which are, we, uh, you know, the, the electables, uh, those who are rich people. Uh, they have been coming to the parliament time and time again uh, by horse trading and other uh, uh, steps. So uh, the, the people of Pakistan, and now after their political awakening uh, due to social media and other uh, 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 other things so right. uh, they they do not want they do not want the old tried and tested politicians to take over the government again and uh, that's why they want to have a change well unfortunately then the tried and tested politicians are uh, at play here in the mo at the moment in pakistan thank you so much for getting us all those updates mr kesar from uh, pakistan Thank you very much for having me. Thank you.